What you what the heck? Did you drew me? No! 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 Ready? Go! No! 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 Did you drew me? Okay. Hi guys, it's Mitsu King, MK Leo. Welcome to our next character guide. This time we're going to talk about Inkling, which is a really good character in Super Smash Bros., which is from the Splatoon series, which is extremely popular, especially in Japan. So I'm just going to get right into it. So one of Inkling's main moves in neutral, I probably, probably his primary move, is the back air. The back air is super good because it has a lot of range, but it only has six frames landing lag. This combination makes it really safe to spam over and over. You can just keep spamming back air over and over in neutral. The, and the good part of this is, at low percent, this combos to dash attack. Well, like, you won't let me hit you with it. Wait, stop. Okay, you did. At really low percent, you can dash attack. At upper percents, does this combo? Run up jab. Does that combo actually? Yeah. Did that combo? Yes. Oh, that's even better than I thought. I thought it was just the text trace. Okay, so you can either add zero, you can do dash attack. At upper, mid percents, you can run up jab, which can work on it as a tech chase or just them sliding across the ground and it, be, it being a big frame advantage. And at the very high percentages, it's a tech chase. So at the really high percentages, the tech roll away after I back you. You can do that, and then you can get like an up smash, and you can and you can kill people or like around 100 percent. So that's pretty much what you want to be using. You hit the back air; it's really safe. You just spam your safe move over and over, and then you, you can also you, get you that combo off it. Oh yeah, that was the other thing I was going to mention. Uh, mid percents, you also do uh, you grab and then you up throw up air. Now. If Talk you have any platforms. Speak about up throw up air. You could up throw up air and like kill all the characters. It doesn't quite work at this percent. Some percent, it's like a... Usually like 110 on each character. It varies, it varies, the percents vary on the character, but generally if you want to grab around some, say like 110, and you can, and most people you can kill them. This also means they're better on the stages with the sl smaller ceilings. There's like five stages with a 180 size ceiling. Inkling will be better there because uh, you can kill them much sooner. And Battlefield, the stage is higher, so the window to up throw up air kill is much smaller which means they're worse on their stages. So, um, here, let me show you the up through upper combo. Uh, it won't work right now. Well, I'll try right now just to show you. He, this will not combo. You could have jumped away. You did not. Oh, he, he didn't do anything. He could have jumped away. But at, at, at zero, what a uh, combo Armada does this one a lot. You up through up air, double up air like this. And then you do that. So you, you uh, jump, delay, up air. Then you do another up air, and then you full hop in air. From there, you either do a back air or a forward air. The last part doesn't true combo though, like here. Oops, I landed on the platform. But you, after the nair hits, you do a forward air. Or after the nair hits, you do a back air. So you either end it like this, or you, or you end it like this. Um, the, the back air to the forward air, uh, the, sorry, the nair to the forward air finisher, that usually doesn't true combo, but it, it frame traps, which means there's nothing they can do to like punish you for it. The best they can do is like jump away or air dodge, but you still have the advantage even if that misses. So you can still autopilot that. So up throw, up air, up air, full, full. Stop hitting me! Stop it! So you up throw, up air, up air, full hop in air, and if they go left, you back air. If they go right, you forward air. And that's it. You're so stupid. Aww. Also at 0%, a combo I didn't mention before, but uh, you, at zero, you can do this. That works on big fat characters, but it's only like works at like zero. So go to zero. Uh, I don't know if it works on Inkling Ditto. But if you're fighting like a big body character, you just down throw and then rapid jab them. So like this may or may not work because he's an Inkling Ditto. See the, uh, right there, the first jab actually missed, but missed. But on a bigger body character, the whole thing will combo. So like say you're fighting a Donkey Kong, you can just down throw a rapid jab them. But uh, you generally, if there's a platform stage, so like anything but like Final Destination, basically, you just want to do the double, you just want to do what I said before, up throw, up air, up air, full hop nair, and into either a back air or forward air. And that's usually how you get uh, like a 0 40 combo into positional advantage. So another thing Inkling has stronger than any other character in a game is their dash dance. Now, I'm sure you've, if you've ever played Melee, you know about dash dancing and how good it is, but in, the, in, in Smash Ultimate, you can kind of dash dance, but most characters, you have to wait like a quarter second between each dash or something. But Inkling, you, you can see, you can do it really fast. In addition to it being really fast, uh, their animation is real, it's like 
not obvious what they're doing. Because look, when you dash around, it looks similar to a dodge, which looks similar to a roll. It's not obvious to the human eye immediately. You don't react perfectly to what they're doing because it's less of a fluid animation, more of like a split splash. Uh, besides that, you also are low pro profile things. Like you're not gonna go into a lot of moves, but like Armada showed me at Sunlit that if you perfectly time, like if you're fighting a wolf and he shoots the laser, if you perfectly time the dash, you can actually go under it and then hit him with like a roller or something. It's a very, it's not that easy to do, but Armada actually did it to me in matches. Um, so their dash is really good for all three reasons I said. So you really want to dash stance grab with them a lot. You want to like do this, and if and if if you see them strike first, you either dash grab, or you can da or you can dash attack, or you can roller them. Roller is really good for like the, the finishing blow. One of uh, his weaknesses are like I always see him playing like a Mario character as well. Like he's like he's always gonna get a lot of combos. He like if he grabs you, you're gonna get a lot of damage. He's really hard to hit, but like once you play like the matchup correctly with a mid-range character, projectile character, he's gonna struggle to like to approach. Like he's not that fast. He doesn't have enough range. He doesn't have like a sword. Like he has range, but like the sword is always gonna be the inkling, right? So uh, you just, you basically just need to be like if you're playing versus Mario, you just play like jumping, spacing. Like if he tries to grab, you just just lose something else to like escape. And that's pretty much everything about him. Weaknesses. Yeah, uh, Inkling also has super good recovery. Like, it's really hard to two frame them. Like, Lucina can't even rely with Edge Guard if the Inkling knows how to like mix it up. It's just like a guessing game. But uh, they can just easily, they can two frame you. I don't know if you can do it in an Inkling Ditto, but a lot of the time you just you do this to catch a two frame. Yeah, you try it to me, you're better at two framing. See? You can you can two frame and if, you, if you're wrong, there's like no risk. So, a lot of Inklings use the down tilt the ledge specifically for that reason. And then a lot, a lot of time, in, Inkling, if you don't want to get to try to go for the two frame, what I, or Inklings they try to do, they just throw the, the roller bomb, and it covers all, certain ledge options. If you, if you throw it at a certain timing, it can like cover a lot of things, and then it like minimizes my options because it covers certain things. So like it makes you want to like ledge roll, but then ledge roll can be obvious, or it makes you want to get up at a certain timing because you don't want to jump into the explosion, so you want to do it after that. And if you try to be impatient, you're just getting hit by the explosion, so it's, Pretty good at the ledge. Inklings often just throw the bomb at the ledge. Just, they just press down B and just throw the bomb right there. But like, there's a trick in this stage that you see the cats like standing right there with the flex. Like, they are always sleeping, but they just get up whenever you're in the last stock. And they are start like getting some flex with your like color in the game. Wait, what? Let me show you. Yeah. Because do you see the cats right there? He's sleeping. They are sleeping, yeah. <coughs> I mean, he's not sleeping, he's sleeping. So whenever um, you have the lead, you have the damage, they just wake up. Oh, he wakes up. And he start grab like he start holding a flag with your color, because you're the red player. But like whenever you kill yourself, kill yourself twice. Please. It's gonna be both flags. Yep. That's a trick. I mean, in case you like Splatoon, you probably knew it already, but that's a pretty interesting thing. What happens when I die? He jumps. I think he jumps, see? Oh, he started to jump. Yeah. Well, I feel like I'm a better player now. Mm-hmm. That's a good trick. So that's why you need to watch these kind of videos. Subscribe in case you want to see more. Okay, now, guys, we're going to be ranking Inkling's attributes. Wait, do you have to write the words so before we start? Do you have to write the whole words down? No, just, just like, get okay, combos. You just... You just put your letter, show it to oh, the stream. Oh, one at a time. Yes. Okay. Yep. That's how it works. So we're going to be putting the letter in here. So in case, like, we're just going to do combos, edge guarding, neutral game, heal power, and movement. Yep. So you want to start with the combos. Okay. So what, are you just, you want us to write, write down the letters now? Yeah. So I'll just do it right now? Yes. Okay. My thing isn't working, though. It, this marker just sucks. Just use the green. This marker sucks. I think A because they don't have kill combos, but they're really good at outside that in the low percent. But they're not. They have a up through upper combo that goes at like 110, but they don't have the combos to a level of like Peach or Peach. So that's why. That I doesn't put a. look like an A, Jason. You need to put like more work into it. See, I did an S like Samus S, like Tersuit Samus. S. So I think it's an S because like even if they don't have kill combos like Jason just said, I still think like they can get a lot of damage out of the combos. 
So like you don't even need to worry about it. You can just get a grab zero percent, get like eighty percent. Then you can just do side B and you kill can't them. get eighty off a of grab at zero. Yeah, you you can. like forty. It depends position. on the it depends on the inkling. Cosmos does that all the time. Eighty a true zero to eighty. See, yes. I have to see this. See. What's the combo? How do you get zero to eighty? See. That doesn't tell me anything. See. Yeah, yeah, well, that's why I think it's an S. I think as regarding it's an S. Your S so ugly. It doesn't even look like an S. It looks like an S. Are you kidding right? me? Do you think it looks it's like S, an it's S? It's like a screw attack. Do you think it looks like a circle? It looks like an S. Superman. Even if I hate the character. Yeah. Okay, I think it's an S because like I guess Jason is gonna say the same thing. We can. But, like you can just go off stage, you can do just whatever go you, and you don't have do to whatever care. you want. Like you are still gonna go back to the stage. It is forward or wherever you That's want. That's basically or down tilt or ledge trap yeah. or whatever. But you can just you know, there's no risk. You didn't even write one. Yeah, no, I I say I'm gonna use the same one. Oh. Okay, this is an I, S. I had to delete this mine. This is an S again because Jason, Jason just said in the in the video at the beginning of the video his neutral game is like amazing. He just need to be jumping. His dash dancing is like amazing. You can't even punish him sometimes. <laughs> back with his, and just back her a lot, and like out of the back here, you're gonna get grab, jabs, dash attack, and like a lot of damage. Kill power. Yep. Yeah, I was thinking A. I would have put B if he didn't have up throw up air, but uh, they have up throw up air, and they can reliably kill it like 110 ish every character. And that's why I give it an A, because you have a reliable kill at like 110 if you just get a grab. Not, and only that. You can just roller or just like knock down to roller, and uh, you can get reliable KOs off that. So when they're on like 110, they have like two options to kill. Okay, so I think this is an A. Because uh, like Jason just said, he, can, he can't do Jason? much besides like up throw into upper. He has like a very good tool like up smash out of shield to kill you. He's gonna kill at like 120, something like that. It's actually really good because it's actually a super fast move. And uh, also the roller side B is really good to just get someone like you can do up throw, upper, if they air dodge, you can just react with the side B and you still get the advantage and they still die. Now okay. we're doing movement and I'm gonna do my S again. So I yeah, think this is an S with like obvious reason. The dash dance is broken. This is Superman. I say the dash uh, dance is like super broken. You can do everything. He has good air movement, grounded movement. One of the best dash dancing in the game, probably the best. And, and there were small hurt bucks in general. Yeah, but yeah it's, main, it's, it's mostly the dashing. The dashing is just too good. Okay, overall they're top tier. I don't know where in top tier, but it's worth mentioning that uh, I think Tweak thinks that, uh, the character is like fourth, and Cosmo thinks the character is third in the game. So the people who actually play off the top link wings think it's like third or fourth. <laughs> so, so that's worth saying that you're probably like not the best in the game, but you're like top tier, probably in the middle of top tier. Top tier. Yeah. Okay, we did it, Jason and I, Mewtwo King and MK Leo. Just, we're done with the first round of the characters. The ultimate character guide by Echo Fox feed Mewtwo King and MK Leo. Like, in case you like all the guys, just let us know in the comments. Just let us know what character, what next character would you like us to do next? Make sure to share the videos and like and subscribe sure as well. Make sure to share the videos, just tell your friends that this is like a good guy, Ashley. And uh, just like the video, subscribe. And in case you in case you want to watch the next round of videos, you just need to make sure we get a we get until five million subscribers before Friday. <laughs> <Here it is. laughs>